Hey guys, welcome to this week's video. We are doing a content creation video. I have promised you guys this for a very long time. Um, basically had to teach you guys how to edit for videos, whether you're doing it for reels or vlogs. It's kind of all the same thing. Once you figure out one thing, it's the same thing that you just do depending on the type of content that you're trying to put out. But I'm finally doing it. And the best part is this has been a sponsored video with ASUS. And that is what we're using today. So I've had this gorgeous baby for the past month and a half. This is the ASOS Viva Book Pro 16X. It is an amazing laptop. I have been testing it out with um, most of the editing software that I love to use, both for video and also photography. And I just decided to put together a small little list of things that you kind of need to know how to do. Uh, these are basics. I'm not going to be showing you guys everything because learning how to edit whether it's video or photography it's a process you kind of just have to learn slowly and pick up information as you move but i'm going to try to give you guys some of the major basics when it comes to video but first let's talk about this baby right here real quick this is the asus vivo book pro x it has a 16 inch 4k oled display that is slick chic user-friendly, and is everything that you need as a creator, whether it's for video editing, photo editing, and so much more. It has two USB type pods and a micro SD card reader port for your smart cards and memory cards, making it very convenient when you need to drop footage quickly and easily. And I know I already mentioned the 4K display, but you have no idea how amazing the 4K OLED display is until you use it. The visuals are everything. All right, so now before we get into the actual editing process, I want to let you guys know that we are having an amazing giveaway with ASUS for my content creators out there. So stick through with me, and at the end, I'm going to be basically breaking down how you can win an amazing trip with ASUS to the coast for four nights with a friend, or your cousin, or your best friend, or your partner, whatever, live your life. But there's an amazing giveaway happening with today's video. So let's get into this so today i'm doing a reel once you kind of get the concept on how to edit one video it's kind of the same thing for whatever it is that you're doing whether you're doing a vlog or you're doing a reel or um i don't know like just a compilation of photos it's kind of the same concept so i love to use the program called davinci resolve that's more my aesthetic um i know some other people who use uh final cut um i'm forgetting another one but for me personally i love using davinci resolve i find it to be a lot easier for first timers and it's also a very professional um video editing software so highly recommend uh davinci resolve so i'm going to show you guys how to do a reel these are one of my basic transitional reels um i had already shot it and this is from when i went to a L'Oreal event so it's basically a makeup transition I'm gonna show you guys how I do them so that they always look very very smooth so number one you'll notice that the video that I actually shot itself I shot it with a white background and the reason why I do that is so that when I edit everything and I need to make everything match up I don't have to worry about things in the background not matching up to what's happening in each shot so it creates a very smooth, clean transition. So I have DaVinci Resolve open right here and I've already dropped all of all the footage. Um, it's a pretty simple way to just drop the footage and the music. The music, where I usually get them, especially for reels, is I find inspiration on TikTok, whatever is trending at the moment. But what I like to do is I personally prefer doing everything on my computer number one the quality is a lot better um the transitions are a lot smoother everything looks clean seamless perfection that's how i prefer to work and also for me the bigger the screen the better so and there's like little things where i can notice that like oh it's not clean i can be able to zoom in and really go close into my screen versus if i used my phone and make the changes that need to be made so i've already dropped the footage so this is the ray charles um last night trend so um i'm gonna try to play this very very quickly so that you guys can hear the audio but then i'm not you know get i'm not gonna get a copyright strike so So the part for Oh Johnny is where the transition actually begins. So I shot the video already 
and of course it always starts off with me with no makeup so if you look to the left part of the screen you will notice is this little tiny boxes the little tiny boxes are basically all the footage that I have dropped including the music and I've already cut up the exact part of the song that I wanted now when I mentioned the music I got the song originally from YouTube and the reason why I like to do that as opposed to using the TikTok ones is because TikTok tends to recycle the songs a lot so by the time you are probably hearing something it's already been used by like 17 other people so the quality is not what you want it to be. So I prefer getting the actual original music itself just so that the quality remains the same and comes off perfectly. So I've already cut out the song and it was around like a minute, well actually around two minutes and ten seconds into it. So this is the song itself and this is a part where the transition needs to be. So I'm basically just gonna take that drop it onto my timeline. The page down here, this is the timeline. This is where all the actual footage is gonna be once you've edited and put it in. So next thing I'm gonna do is, I usually like to give myself a little bit of space in the beginning part just so that it just, in case I need to move the footage up a little bit, it's perfectly fine. Then I find the footage that I like the most, the final cut from, and it's usually always the last one. I love to do as many takes as humanly possible. So this is what it looks like. Sorry, let me just take a quick pause real quick. So if you notice in the image of my video, it's sideways. It's just a setup on my camera. I've just never taken it off and I've gotten so used to editing in a sideways angle that I don't even notice it anymore. But you can always just rotate it into a way that is a little bit more comfortable for you. It's literally just up to what's your comfort level. But um, yeah, I'm just used to editing sideways. It's not that big of a deal. Anyways, let's continue with the video. So what we're gonna do is find the part that matches perfectly to the lyrics of the song and we're going to use that for the first take. Last night you were dreaming and I heard you say Perfect. So as you notice I played up until where I turned my head. Once I turn my head like this, that's where the transition ends for the first part. And then we just drop it in and make sure that it matches up with the sound. And if you notice down here there's a little box or a little rectangle that has options of either a rectangle or audio. I just need the image itself, just the video minus the audio because I already have the original song within the actual um, timeline already. So I'm just going to grab just the visual part and then we're going to try to match up the sound to make sure that I'm lip syncing correctly. Last night you were dreaming and I heard you say There, that's the first transition. It is already laid down and it's pretty in sync. All right, now I'm gonna grab the second part of the transition, which is now me with makeup on and see if that matches up perfectly to give me a nice seamless transition. So I'm going to use that take, going back to that little rectangle again and just grabbing the image, no audio, and now we just check to see if it matches up. Oh, Johnny. Okay, so I think it's pretty close. So what I like to do to just make sure that everything is perfect is in the timeline between the two segmented areas of the video. If you click on it and you try to drag it shows both images in the same shot and I can be able to drag it until I feel like they're all around the same transition line which I feel is there oh, Johnny. now this is a part where the white background makes the biggest difference in how well your transitions actually look at the end especially when it comes to makeup transitions so once I do that as you can tell I'm wearing a strapless top and I don't want it to be part of the final product so I like to zoom in and that's why the white background is everything just so that the face matches in the right 
perfect area from the first transition to the second transition. So I first love to highlight both of them because I shot them both using the same camera, same distance, and I did not touch it. Okay, with both images being highlighted, I will zoom in, which is up here on the right hand section. So zooming in until my face is what is in the focus. And then I can pull it in a little bit right if I feel like I need a little bit more room on one side or so I can just make sure that I'm centered. Once I feel like I've done that for both, I'm going to match them up to make sure that both faces are in the same section. This one needs to be centered a little bit more. Perfect. And that is how we get a clean transition. Now, once that's done, to not make sure that everything looks crisp and absolutely perfect, and this is why I love this laptop so much, is the color correction. We're gonna make sure that everything is nice and sharp and beautiful, um, colors look great, and this laptop, especially if you are doing any color grade, whether it's in video, in Photoshop, um, whatever the case, it's gonna give you such an amazing look into what your final product is gonna look like because of the screen. I then go down here to these tabs and I click on color. This is where the color grading begins. So first, I like to make sure that the image is very, very sharp. So I go over here where it's the sharp option. So this is blur or sharpen, so we're gonna sharpen it. And then we're just gonna bring this down just until it is perfectly sharp, according to which I see. I think that this is a perfect level. And I'll do the first clip, and then I'll basically just drop the exact same settings from that clip to the second so that they can stay the same. All right, once we're done with that, we just go to the color wheel, which is this button right here. I first like to do the mid details to just make sure everything is nice and flawless. I then love to do shadows because I like to make whatever needs to be dark look dark and whatever needs to be less in the shadow be less in the shadow. And then I prefer to do a little color boost because this is a makeup transition, so we need a little bit of color for that little zhuzh. And then if I need to, I'll either do a little bit of contrast or if I feel like the temperature of the actual video is too warm or too cold, I will adjust it. So when I say too warm or too cold is what I mean. So if you can see the image over here, I feel like that's a perfect coloring for me personally. But some people usually like the images to be a little bit more cold and some people like the images to be a little bit more hot. So you basically just adjust it according to what your aesthetic is. So I'm going to bring the temperature back down to zero. Do you see how different the second clip was compared to the first one? Because the second one has not been color graded yet. So what we're going to do is just basically drop that exact same setting onto the second one. And if I need to adjust it a little bit, I'll do that just so I make sure that everything matches up well. Because also lighting, whether it's from the outside light or the inside light, can actually affect what the final product looks like. So you still need to check to just make sure that everything is done well. And that is pretty much it. I kind of just broke down to you guys the basics of just learning how to cut and putting it in with music and basically just trying to match it up. I feel like that's the major basics when it comes to editing your own videos. Once you kind of get that gist, whether you're doing it for reels or if you're doing it for vlogs, it's the same rules apply for basically everything. The only biggest thing is just teaching yourself how to use your ears to be able to hear the sound and how to match everything whether you are doing lip syncing or whether if you're just trying to match up the vlog type video to match up perfectly with the song. But this kind of just gives you the basic idea. Last night you were dreaming and I heard you say Oh, Johnny. When you know my name is Ray. So to be part of this amazing giveaway, you have to post content either on your Instagram or on YouTube of amazing content that you have created. Um, whether you used an app, whether you used your laptop, whether you used your phone, photography, video, whatever the case, just show us your work, okay? And then we're gonna be selecting one winner from all the submissions, and that winner is gonna get a trip for two to the coast for four 
nights which is i think an amazing 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 giveaway okay so here are the hashtags so there is hashtag creator click challenge hashtag create with asus hashtag asus east africa and hashtag vivo book pro 16 x so those are the four hashtags and also make sure that you tag asos east africa especially on instagram i've put every single hashtag and all the links and the ads and everything down below go check it out and all the details when it comes to the actual giveaway itself now again we really just want to see you guys create amazing content and submit it so we can check it out and then just select a winner who we think deserves this the most and the best part about this entire trip you can either use this trip for you to create amazing content vacation chillaxing do a little bit of both i'm usually the type of people who when i go on trips i try to do all of it like relax create content video photography all of it anyways thank you guys so much for watching this week's video i hope you learned something i hope i made sense um yeah and i'll see you guys in the next video see ya cannot wait to see your amazing amazing creations